back to my channel. I'm Martine Kelle, owner, founder of The Vegan London. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make barbecued veg, lemon roast potatoes, and a side of salad. So good. So, this barbecued veg recipe is literally a barbecue veg recipe. It's not a barbecue sauce on the veg, it's actually barbecuing the veg to get that delicious charcoal Mediterranean flavour, that's what I'm going for today. So you would actually need a barbecue for this or if you have a gas oven then you can use the fire on the gas oven which I show you on here. If you don't have access to a barbecue this is a really great way to do it. Otherwise you can just bung it in the oven and the grill. It will still be absolutely delicious, it just won't have that charcoal essence and aroma. So let's get straight into it. First vegetable I decided to use is an aubergine. It's on its way out so I'm going to put it to use. So I'm actually going to salt this aubergine first before I do anything else. Aubergine tends to be quite bitter and I'm going to try and get some of that bitterness out and also some of the water content that aubergine holds. And then I'm going to put that into a pot with the lid on top and I'm going to leave that until I'm ready to cook my veg. So I've got some potatoes here and I'm just going to peel those and I'm going to slice lengthways into quarters. And then I'm going to put that into a pot with some water, salt, a couple of cloves of garlic, mixed herbs and half a lemon and I'm going to boil that on about medium to high heat until soft. While the potatoes are boiling, let's prep this veg. I've got two courgettes and I'm going to slice those up. And now for my mushrooms. I actually advise not to slice your mushrooms. I don't actually know why I sliced my mushrooms, I kind of forgot what I was doing. Keep your mushrooms whole because it makes it a lot easier in the barbecue process. Slice up some onion in half. Keep them in halves as well, makes it easier once again. Once those veggies are chopped and prepped, let's check on our aubergine. If you're getting a little bit of water when you squeeze it, that's perfect. So wash it out. Once I'm happy, I'm gonna put these into a big enough dish so I can season. So the seasoning to this is what makes it. This is the key. I've got you. Martika has your back. You wanna add some salt, some pepper, a good amount of mixed herbs, some paprika. I'm going to use olive oil. Now I'm going to add some minced garlic to this and then I'm just going to give this a mix, a little shake until all of my veggies are nicely coated with the seasoning. Just FYI, peppers are amazing with this seasoning. I just have them to run out. If you can, try to leave this to marinate for about 15 to 30 minutes minimum. So once all your seasoning is mixed and it's all lovely and jubbly, I'm going to check on my potatoes. Once your potatoes are soft to the touch, they're ready to go into the oven. So get yourself an oven dish and coat that with some oil. For this, I'm using two types of oil, olive oil for the flavour, and then I'm going to use rapeseed oil to get that roast potato crisp that we all love. I'm going to take my potatoes and I'm going to put that right on top of the oil, and then I'm going to put that into the oven for about 30 minutes to 40 minutes to get it extra, extra crispy at about 160 to 180. So now let's get back to our bit. So if you have a barbecue, just throw this onto your barbecue as is. If you haven't got a barbecue, I'm gonna show you how to do it on a gas oven stove. So if you have tongs, use them. Otherwise you can use a skewer, which I only thought about now. I don't know why I didn't think about that before. Next time I will do that. <laughs> Fire is really what gives it that flavor. You just need that real heat and that real flame. So this is a great hack if you don't have a barbecue. And don't get scared if that oil pops, it's fine. I've done this plenty of times and I haven't blown up my house yet, so. Once you have successfully barbecued all your veg, I know it's time consuming, but I promise you it's so worth it. If you're using a gas oven stove, put your barbecue veg in an oven dish and just put it in the oven for about 10 minutes just to make sure that it's cooked all the way through. Let's make our fresh salad to accompany this meal. First, I'm going to thinly slice some cucumber. Ooh, she's fancy. I'm gonna cut up some red onion, some tomatoes, and some fresh avocado. Olives, ooh, love olives. I'm gonna season that with a bit of salt, paprika, olive oil, vinegar, yes, vinegar. Trust me, okay. And then I'm gonna add some hummus on the side of my plate. And then I'm gonna just sprinkle some mixed herbs on the top. 
this is the perfect salad flavoring in my opinion so i hope you agree finally once our veg is done we're gonna take it out of the oven and look how crispy and soft our potatoes are to my cooked potatoes i'm just gonna add a little bit of chili olive oil over the top a little sprinkle now let's check our veg look how delicious you know what time it is i'm gonna let the music do its thing So you can have this barbecue veg with any meal, honestly. You can have it with Turkish fries, you can have it with Greek fries, you can have it with bulgur wheat, you can have it with couscous. Whatever you like, these vegetables go with pretty much anything Mediterranean. So now I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get my food and I'm gonna do a taste test with my story and I can smell the barbecue when I need it, like now. So here it is. Here's my delicious plate of barbecue veg. I'm just gonna dig in. Sorry guys. So good, oh my gosh. So, I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I love this recipe. And if you make it, please let me know. Tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see you guys recreate my meals. It's so cool, it just makes me happy. And I will see you next time. Ciao, tasters, smooches.